Hello everyone, welcome to Vinotra Thinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to design the test ng test case using the priority attribute. In order to understand today's session, please make sure you have seen my previous video because it is a continuation of my previous video. Please click on subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell symbol to get notified about new videos. Thank you. In last session, we understood that the test annotation will be executed in the alphabetic order. We want to execute first login application, navigate demo screen, then close application. But when we execute, it was executed in the alphabetic order like close application, login, then navigate demo screen, which is not as per our requirement. Then how to design as per our requirement is the big question which can be done using the priority attribute we will see the practical implementation now this is an example we have coded in the previous video we created a registration class and three methods one is to launch application navigate demo page and a close application after this when we executed it executed in this sequence now how to sequence as per our requirement it can be done using the priority attribute after test annotation inside the bracket type priority equal to 1 so this is the first method or business logic which needs to be executed after that priority equal to 2 then close application priority equal to 3 we have implemented the priority attribute now we will execute and see how it is working run as test ng test case execution is completed and the results are displayed as per our requirement first the launch application then navigate demo then close application it is executed as per our sequence the same example let me add the business logic and show you the execution with an assumptions that you know selenium i am directly showing the execution what we have done is first launch the application i have included the selenium code to launch the application setting the driver path creating a new object for chrome driver after that maximizing it then navigating to this url vinotharasguidance.com so this is the first method since the driver is used across every method i am making it as public static web driver driver so that directly you can use this driver object the next step is once the page is loaded we are navigating to the request demo by clicking on that after that close the application let me show you the execution just run it it is launching the chrome browser navigate it to the website then clicking on the demo request the demo request page is displayed now it should close the application all the three methods are passed so this is a real-time scenario how we have to code for selenium using the test ng framework just right click refresh you can see the test report index the latest test report about three methods in addition to that in the vinotharasguidance.com i have created a page called request demo you can use this particular page for doing your automation code so let us recap in order to design our end-to-end -end scenario we have to use the priority attribute just by giving priority is equal to 1 2 3 it will be executed some may have a different way of thinking like if i give priority 1 for 2 methods what will happen that time it will be executed in the alphabetical order that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries in the comment or mail me and don't forget to subscribe to get notification for new video upload thanks for watching happy learning